Do you recommend getting those fundamental certifications? And I know you have some. Or should we just, again, grab that knowledge and then go for the ones that specifically talk about security or any other field you might be interested in the cloud? So for that, like, so actually my only cloud certifications now are uh, the AWS Cloud Practitioner and the Azure Fundamentals. Okay. Um, and I don't have any more from GCP, but I recently just, you know, I, I, I'm currently working on a GCP project at work, yeah. but I don't think I'll be taking the certification. Um, but I think it's like, you know, it, it all still boils down to individual preference mm -hmm. and also like time constraints as well. Because okay. um, especially now that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working full time. I have a lot of things going on. Like it's much harder to study for certifications. Um, it is. Also, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like also like you know, factoring school um, and just other like commitments. Um, like it's much harder to like just focus on certifications. So I think when you're first starting out, you know, mm -hmm. getting like you know one you know certification. Uh, might be good for you. Like, let's say you, you started out with like AWS and you focused on AWS and you got like the solutions architect. My recommendation is when you're getting like that first certification, right? Spend as much time as you can actually trying to understand the concepts in the certification. Like your end goal should not be, okay, I want to get a certification. Of course, that would be, you know, the result of your yeah. process of learning. But I think spending enough time dwelling in the concepts that a certification offers, especially as like, especially the architectural certifications can be very, very, very beneficial for you in the sense that a lot of times when it comes to these, especially AWS, like especially at the associate level, there are three associate cert certifications. There's a lot of overlap between the certifications. So if you if you study for the solutions architect, yeah. there's a 40% overlap with the sysops and like the DevOps associate. Okay. Um, if you are planning on doing that, so if you spend enough time studying the solutions architect, mm -hmm. study all the concepts in there, you're only gonna spend you're only have to gonna have to spend an extra 40% of effort on any of the other associate level certifications because yeah. you were able to cover the core concepts of the solutions architect. So if you ever decide to like go get more certifications, you're going to be, it's going to be less effort required. So my recommendation is, is if you are going to get a certification, spend enough time on it, understand the concepts and yeah. get the knowledge out of it. Then in the sense of like, you know, now branching out to like more certifications, it really depends on like individual preference. For example, like I said, I'm working on a GCP project. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't think like I would be able to like sit down for like a GCP certification, but yeah. I will take my time to sit down and read the GCP docs, you know, in terms of architecture or like IAM and really understand those principles for what I'm working on, for that project I'm working on, because that knowledge, I'm going to hold on to it for, you know, for, you know, however long, even after I'm done with the project. And if I ever need to reference it, I can always bring back that knowledge and yeah. having a certification might not eventually really matter as long as I have that knowledge and I'm able to show it through my work and like through my project. So that's that's that'll be my recommendation in terms of certifications. If you have the time, then, you know, go ahead and take the certifications and, you know, yeah. have fun with them. Yeah, in my opinion, the real value, I, I, I guess the certificate won't hurt you once again, but the real value is on the journey and the knowledge you get, right? So the yeah. reason why I was asking this, this question was uh, actually a bit selfish because I'm thinking on taking um, a certification from Microsoft on the Azure stuff. And I was thinking about doing doing it like this. So I was going to grab the knowledge from the, the Azure fundamentals, like the first <laughs> one, and then really try to understand the basic um, stuff and try to get the fundamentals. And then if I went to, if I went to do any certification, I would do like this, the specifically related to security, if you know what I mean, like the one that is yeah. actually for a security professional, because I think that once you have that certification, uh, no company will ask you, well, where's the fundamentals one? You know what I mean? Yeah. If you, if you know, yeah. if you already know how to work within uh, an Azure environment or a cloud mm -hmm. environment and you have that certification, uh, for the security topic specifically, um, I don't think that you will need the fundamental certificate, but having the knowledge will be like the, dif the difference maker. Uh, am I correct yes. thinking like this? Uh, does this make sense? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it, it definitely makes sense, uh, you know, from because in order for you to eventually actually pass the, you know, security certification, yeah. you, you must have had the fundamentals and like, you know, they, you know, eventually wouldn't care about you having the fundamentals. Yeah. Um, I, and like, you know, it's, it will be it would be your responsibility to make sure Absolutely. you actually yeah. have the knowledge from that security certification. And then, you know, you know, you can do whatever it is, you, you know, you're, you want to do with it with with that. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's like, well, uh, let's say you are already a, an experienced penetration tester, for example, and there's like this budget that your company is providing you to, to get a certification. Well, if you have the chance to get like an OSEP, which is like the experienced penetration tester, is a certification from offensive security as well, maybe you're not going to consider the EJPT or the Pentest Plus or anything like that, just because you already have that experience and that knowledge. And once people yes. see that you have the OSEP, they, they, will, they won't be asking, well, where's your Pentest Plus? <laughs> you know yes, I mean? yes.